This is the one that has the, uh... That's, yeah. A Famicom karaoke machine? Yeah. Just the sheer size of this box. So remember those prototypes when I was in Midwest Gaming Classic? Well, every time I hop on that Alaska Airlines flight and I fly past Mount Rainier, I know I'm in for a good time. This is the Columbus, Ohio Retro Gaming Society Expo Korgs, is what they're calling it. Hey, that, that could be me in that plane right now, flying to Seattle. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. As with conventions, food and drinks happening at Plank's Pizzeria. Uh, Retro Wolf wouldn't stop talking about this place. Had to check it out. They put cinnamon on the Hawaiian style. That's a little weird, but you know what? It kind of worked. Is that a Columbus thing? I've never heard that anywhere else. After pizza, we kept hearing about this place called 16-Bit. It's uh, like an arcade bar. Well, let's go check it out. The 16-Bit Bar Arcade. Seabus, Ohio. I didn't even see that. Nice. <laughs> So, it's cool they actually have the, uh, the, the the prototype version that has the clicker at the bottom there. I didn't do too well. But Jay's doing great at Joust. Twin Galaxies, here we go, Jay. Come on now. Come, no, okay, well, all right. Better luck next time. At least it's, hey, well, at least it's free. You don't, you don't waste any money on it. Oh, I got that one. With a large local IPA in my hands. This place is cool. They're all they're all set to free play. They're all set to free play. And they've got a ton of classics here. Got X-Men over there. I do see my WrestleFest on the corner there. They have these little pictures. When you zoom out. Makes a bigger picture. Isn't that cool? You'd never know until you look super close. Pop culture. Oh, they do have some pins back here. Judge Dredd, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Oh, Junkyard. I like Junkyard. And Star Trek. Oh, they do have Tapper. I'll just ask if they had Tapper. They said they didn't have Tapper. Here's Tapper right here. Some more classics too. Oh, this is my side here. Frogger, Track and Field, Turtles in Time. Again, these are all free. I mean, naturally you're gonna grab a drink while you're here. You have consoles over there too. I was wrong. I have to pay for the pinball. I just tried. Didn't work. Oh well. I've never seen a Track and Field with a trackball. It's literally trackball and field. Let's see what we can do here. Spinning, 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 spinning. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Go, 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 My arm's tired, my arm's tired, my arm's tired. So I could never use a power pad. Go. Did I win? Yeah, I'm winning. It's not exactly like Mike Tyson's punch out. Oh, no, it's a little different. This is Jay's first time ever seeing a punch out cabinet. And you're almost there, so now you have your knockout. Okay, get him in the stomach. There you go. Like, yeah. And you can do it as many times as you want, so long as you have that meter filled up. Okay. Every, every, yeah, whatever. There we go. There, there, see? There you go. I mean, he'll get back up, but you know. Yeah. All the free games to play, and here I am playing old school Space Invaders with the overlay and everything. Classic, old school. Love it. Coming down to it. There we go. Perfect play. We're done. We're done. That's it. How are you? How are you not kidding me? <laughs> I almost wanted to. Unfair, you're playing against Hogan. Unfair advantage. Yeah, I know, right? Sorry, I know. Let's check it out. <laughs> Dirty Frank's is the hot dog palace. <laughs> a Columbus staple. Let's check it out. Picnic table. A picnic table? The picnic table. It has baked beans on it. Is it? I mean, is that actually what it's called? Yeah. Where do you see it? Yeah, a picnic table. Baked that. beans, creamy coleslaw, this, on a hot dog. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, so Retro Wolf is going with the uh, picnic table there, but I'm telling you, I think the classy lady is the way to go. It, it's my favorite. I get it every single time. It is Lace, a classy lady. Chips, chips yeah. and uh, questionable cheese. Cheese sauce uh, and crushed potato chips. I got it. That's hot. Got, got some cool skateboards in here as well. I love this one. I love the Van Halen there. <laughs> you can't hate. No. 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 In, in lieu of a hot dog bun, you got the lettuce wrap. The carbs. He's only. The he, carbs. He's gonna be the only one alive by tomorrow. We're all gonna have diabetic shock here. Is that a hot dog in a lettuce wrap? How is it? How is it? It's, it's actually delicious. Okay. Coleslaw, baked beans. That's the that's the picnic table. That is the picnic. That's that's everything that fell onto the picnic table when you're having your barbecue. You just, you just pile it all up and put it on the hot dog. There. It's genius when you think about it. I think it really is. The classy lady right here. This is the classy lady. It's potato chips and cheese sauce. That is my mm -hmm. Everyone's judging me as a queer man. Dude, 
It was so good. <laughs> As we're eating our uh, wieners here. Yeah, yeah, but who cares? Yeah. Talking about man here. Uh, we're, we're about the same age. Yes. But I grew up with console games, Atari, Nintendo, and but you you were all about the Commodore 64. I was. Tell me about your uh, computer when you were growing up. Your PC. Uh, so my first PC had 40 meg, uh, 40 meg hard drive, okay. and I think it was 2 megs of RAM. Yeah, no, and it was a shit. Okay. I mean, it was a shit back then. Yeah, sure, absolutely. You have those. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Now, you, 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 guys, you gotta check out the uh, convention tomorrow if you get a chance. I, I will. All right, there, see, there you go. We're, we're, we're recruiting one person at a time at this point. I'm waiting for the T-Rex to come out of the wolf trees here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know there's a convention here somewhere, but this is and this is not like on the outskirts of town. This is not some back roads. This is literally in Columbus, Ohio, is this road. Oh, it's opening up. Oh, there it is. Okay. We found it. Yay, okay. Love to see the three dollar bin. There's two three dollar bins. I've heard. I see some people on YouTube that love to see three dollar. I know. Three dollars, five dollars. <laughs> well, I'm I'm here, and I'll be I'll do some perusing here right quick. Look at this. Got this. Got the second one. Has the two player dog fighting. I know. Might need to try the uh, Xenomorph Ooh. controller with top gun. Oh yeah 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 yeah. You should. Put the top gun right there. Three bucks only. Let's see these box games here. I have mixed feelings about Ribbit King being that expensive because it's a game that I've loved ever since it first came out. And it's always been like, I want everyone to play it, but it's so good. But see, everyone took their time and now they don't have it. And now they want it, they gotta pay a premium to experience how awesome that game is. I played so much of that when it first came out. Both that and the second one too. They're both great. Now this one, not as good. No. <laughs> not as good. It was worth looking at because it's like, oh, the dream matches and all that. But yeah. yeah, there's so many DS I've never even, like Legend of Kage 2. <laughs> oh, the NES one. Classic. This is the one I worked on. You worked on this one? I worked on this one, yeah. It was it was a big thrill for us to have Super Punch Out included on the on the disc. Wow. Yeah. It was really cool. As it should be. When uh, when Nintendo gave us the okay for it, we were thrilled. And then when we submitted it, they tried to tell us that we didn't have the right button callouts on the ROM. <laughs> well, I do love my but NES yeah. games. But there's like Can I remember? Kinda of fun to see Dungeon Magic. Stuff here, NES games. Yeah, do low low low. Oh. Brandon O'Keefe, thank you for your sacrifice. I don't know, you're looking for Sega CD. I am. Here's a few. I'm a huge fan of Lupin the Third. That's cool too. I'm not, I'm not much for statues, but I might have to grab that just because. I had three orders, but... Well, if I never got unpacked last from last year's, that means you're doing last year's prices. That's good news for me. Yeah. Oh. My these Atari games down here. Blueprint's one of my favorites. Love this game so much. Right. Just the sheer size of this box. We got Rock'em Sock'em Stone Cold versus the Undertaker. This is the size of a twin bed. It's so big. That's so cool. There's a game on there. Love these uh, music boxes. I don't know if I can operate one at the same time here. Allow me. Okay, what do you got? Let's do a little bit of Davy Jones Locket here. Oh, okay. I get it. Fun. <sighs> Wow, well, I know. Not just GI Joe. There's other. Yeah, uh, there's. Uh... There's this guy too. That's kind of fun. How about new ColecoVision games? Oh, that's interesting. I do love Spot for the NES. Um, I don't see the box for it very often though. Like I like. Like, here's what it looks like, but they're also gonna intermittent, like, you know, disperse commercials and <laughs> stuff in there, too. It's a little puzzle game. I've never seen these before in my life. From Rescuers Down Under. <laughs> yeah, with Tron Hockey, it lights up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. So it's, it's uh, Tron Hockey here, huh? And the puck is the uh, disc, looks like. That's so, amazing. Have you with, with with real snow. <laughs> oh, the Comic Zone one has a like, little piece of paper and stuff in it. It's all like. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Pencil shavings. It's like crumpled up. I know. Get some erasers. <laughs> and stuff. That's cool. It's a S. It's a SRAM hack for Comic Zone, so you can save your progress as you go. Nice. I Never thought I'd see Silent Hill for the uh, Genesis here. 
kind of like a digital novel kind of thing. Sonic the Very Useful Engine. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, goodness. That's a... Is the alternate mode? <laughs> That's... Yeah. That's okay. Now, are these like... Are, like These are like legit Buckeyes, right? I got them at an Amish store that's local to us. The Amish, okay. Not made there. This, company, <laughs> this company makes them, but they... Uh, Let me have a look here. Yeah. It's the only thing that that company makes. This is like hyper local. You made them a whole Mac, you said? Yeah, Mac and Mac when I was in eighth grade. They made them. Okay. And the tooth and the whole the hole is the toothpick. Yep. yep. Okay, so they make the peanut butter. It's, so it's not just peanut. You, you can't just take a spoonful of peanut butter then. No, it's like it's, it's not. Butter, a little bit of sugar, powdered yeah, sugar. Powder sugar. Okay. Some um, some people like to put cinnamon in. I don't. Whoa. Yeah. You know, it gets fancy on me here. I'm just yeah. go outside, chat with some people for a little while. These are very melty, but we'll try. So she did that toothpick again. Kind of picked him up with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's chocolate and peanut butter. It's like a, but it's not peanut butter peanut butter. It's like peanut butter fudge. Whenever I make peanut butter fudge for Christmas, it's like that kind of peanut butter. <clears throat> with chocolate, but they're a little melty because they've been outside. <laughs> but they're super good. Thank you again. So here's my TMNT connection. It is a uh, city connection, but you play as the party wagon there. My friend Joe did the label there. And poster sized. Nicely done. Dude, got a poster of that now. Bob's Burgers, it's a burger time hack. Full size poster, another one from Joe, my friend. And the piece that is just stones is this guy right here. That's so good. That's <laughs> the best print ever. Hang that on my wall. You could too. This is it's so it's such an inside joke. Five people have ever seen this photo. But boy have they seen it. I got my man Austin here and he has a gift, but it's broken. Dude. Can you fix it? <laughs> no, but <laughs> I don't know yet. I'll try. I'm my my success rate with uh, Game Boy is not great, but I'll 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 give it a shot. 4 hour drive. 4 hour drive. You might already have it in your collection. This is just a thank you for uh, oh. all the endless hours of video content, but Famicom karaoke <laughs> machine. I have literally never seen this before. I didn't even know this was a thing. A Famicom karaoke machine? Yes. I know you like the Famicom stuff. I love so. Famicom stuff and I love karaoke. Now, does it come equipped with the songs I believe as the so cart? It's on the cartridge. That is insane. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I'm 100% going to play this. Okay. I'm going I'm to I'm have to stream it or something. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read Japanese too well. I mean... Not so much, but we'll see how it goes. Up on I'll, I'll make I'll make up my own lyrics at least. I'll yeah. free I'll freestyle this. Awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. We got the shirt from in Mar Gaming World. Is that right? Yep. And you're and you're Mar. Uh -huh. Yeah. What are you playing? Uh, Nintendo games. You, right? you play Nintendo games. You're wearing the, you're wearing the Sega shirt though. <laughs> Give you mixed signals and all this. And here's the card. You want to check out you want to check out Mar Gaming? There it is, right there. Look at that. Okay. You know, you look at. You're like business pro here. I love it. The hard part with like going to your panel yep. is like you still want to shop. Yeah, you guys it's look busy. We're trying. <laughs> As I see other stuff, and I see see other things being before, and I can't stop because we got to go to a panel, which is in the back of the room. Well, that's what happened when I was on the walk over. I, I got distracted and I was looking. I was like, nope, Jay, you have a panel in ten minutes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out here. Yeah. NASCAR 08 for the PlayStation 3. I worked on that game. <laughs> and that was the first year we had developed anything for the PlayStation 3, and we had to kind of shoehorn our physics engine into the game, and up to about a week before we shipped, cars were regularly flying off the track. Okay. And My man here brought me the secret documents or something. What? Should I, should I have a peek? Yes. I don't know. Ah! So yeah, this is my original Dude, Arcade. you did this? Yes. Oh my god, that's really good. I want to share it with you and hopefully share it with your kids. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. You got all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> and, oh nice. Oh, my wife's going to love that one, the Doctor Who. Dude, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Today's convention food is courtesy of the food truck outside. This is a Texas tenderloin, what do they call it, Steve? A Texas tenderloin? 
it's, it's a big old flattened, Ooh. they fold it in half, and I, I had them put cheese in the middle. You got barbecue sauce, yeah. And old. then these right here, these fries, sorry, these fries <laughs> are really good. Look, these are like five guy fries. Okay. Look at it, all these fries. Yeah. I grabbed them. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Um, a Pac Man book of Pac Man collectibles, which in itself is a collectible book. That's kind of fun. Let's see what's out there. Some great games in here. With great prices. Oh, here's Alpha. Someone was looking for Alpha Mission for the uh, NES. I hope he, hope he found that one. How about Captain America with the manual? Not bad. The Ultimate Warrior comics. Got like other wrestlers in them too. It's kind of fun. Oh man, that's amazing. <laughs> and Rob, Bat Vantage Edition. So he's got a full power bar. Okay. You turn it on there. You go to the oh, there we go. The back. Oh, fun. <laughs> I like that one. Got the twinkly of the twinkle tail. Got the arcade style, custom made, clicky. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you. Love it. Fun little general chaos display. There's been a ton of like Atari and stuff at this show. Oh, Mega Force. Based on the movie. That's right. Kiss your thumb and thumbs up. I played a lot of this when I was younger. Taz. I love that one. I know, we got all the good stuff over here. <laughs> yep, I like I like seeing the attacks in uh, G.I. Joe at 95. I see it for more, most places. So here you have the deals. What makes it a members thing? You got the uh, backpack and the... Uh... So the one in front of it too is also a members. These are ah. um, Interesting, I'm, I'm a 2X too. Yeah, yeah, Squares website, um, they offer like points if you buy stuff off of their website. Oh, sure. And you can redeem those points to get like all sorts of stuff, like hoodies, um, they have like license plate covers, okay. like, all sorts of really neat stuff. The Atari 400. The Atari 800. Right here. The championship. Very cool, I like that. I do like that Mega Man Game Boy. That looks fancy. This is the one that has the uh, like USB C to charge it, yeah. Yep, has IPS screen, audio amplifier. That's nice. We have Super Pong 4. The old boxed Odyssey. That's what you need. That's kind of cool. I like how. Oh, Galaxy. There's a Halo 4. Oh, there we go, okay. Controller. Nice. Yeah. Like how big these Atari 5200 carts are. Kind of a cool design on this one, too. CIB trolls on Treasure Island. Don't see that too often. Millennium Falcon hanging out. I mean, it's like give you the box for Bible buffet. A couple of flattened boxes straight from Wisdom Tree, including the uh, back sticker, like labels. These are some fun coasters here. Oh, now these are cool. We saw these music boxes a little bit ago. I saw the music boxes a bit ago. So have like little watches and stuff. Might find yourself a touchdown football while you're at it. We got it, the five dollar games. Five dollars. There we go. There we go, that's what you need, five dollars. This is this. That's amazing. I, I've never actually seen this one before. Yeah, the, the, the SpongeBob. The SpongeBob cart. This is for fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That could be for fun. Yeah. Nice, dude. It's fun to see just like a boxes lot. of manuals, too. take like 50 to 75%. 50 to two thirds of the price. You know, maybe you need a manual to complete your collection or something. Oh, a whole lot of 7800. And a 7800 to go with it. Like the, the Goof Troop hat. Now this is always very cool to see. See, so once upon a time, they had a little tape reader. So the game's information is literally on a cassette tape. And it plays to load. Isn't that cool? Always love seeing the TurboGrafx-16 stuff. Good deal, do a thing. Dude, I haven't been looking for it. It's so good. But I've seen so many of these, and I love it. Oh, this for a flight stick. Yeah, but this for a controller, including the Tron controller and a steering wheel. There we go. There's a battery baller, five bucks only. Dodgeball 15, I can do that. 
so we took D pad hero and we we hacked the controller this was an idea we had at like wow last night <laughs> so we put the nes controller innards in here and uh, pretty much this just closes it to ground and these are the buttons wow so you can play d-pad hero with a guitar yeah we that's amazing it. dude <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! Yeah, what a great we're idea! Hack the the uh, CHR of the ROM to like change this controller at the bottom to look like a guitar. Yeah. But ideas that you have at the last minute can only go so far. Right. I love it. Cork Simulator. Yeah. Three months. It took you three months to make this game. Yeah, me and my buddy Alan. That's it's awesome, dude. Somewhere. Okay. I I didn't know what they didn't. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I didn't even know they were gonna have homebrews here, but that Korg sim that I showed you, it's a free download. You can actually click a link below, I'll have a link down there where you can download the ROM for free. However, very exclusively, they're super kind to actually give me a cart. You can put it on your own cart if you know how to do that. Um, it's not my game to put on carts for other people, so unfortunately I can't provide that service, but um, I'm, I'm super happy to have this in the collection, man. That's super cool. What do you got? Oh! I don't know if they're allowed in here, but I'm gonna allow it. I could use one of these right about now, actually, so that's good news for me. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. You're all the way from Puerto Rico, and you live in Ohio now? Yeah, I do. Man, okay. You're in your first convention ever? Yeah, here in Ohio, yeah. Okay. Very, very crazy. Are you looking for anything today? PS2 games. Oh, you're going to find them here, buddy. Yeah. Promise you that. Yeah. So remember those prototypes when I was in Midwest Gaming Classic? Well, I have them. I actually brought my computer. I have a... They're through Famicom, and that's the only Famicom adapter I could find in time, so and this is, it's being held up by PSP prototypes just to make sure they all fit here. And what I'm doing is I'm dumping these for the sake of prosperity uh, with Josh's approval, too. I, would, I wouldn't do this. Uh, I, would, I mean, I'd want to, but as we're here anyway, uh, he brought them. I brought my computer, and as we're dumping these... And, and we're dumping all of them, too. And they'll be available for everyone if everyone wants to see. And maybe there's some graphic changes. Maybe there's some music changes. I don't know yet. But I am loading them up here. And this one is for the 3rd of July, 1990. This is Deja Vu. Now it's completed. And then right here for the 3rd of July. Here we go. So, Deja Vu. For this variation, this version. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll go through them later on, see if we can find any differences. But... This is what we're doing, man. So, you know, if you have any NES prototypes that you want dumped, I can do them for you. Especially if you have Ultimate Journey. Man, I can't wait. I hope we get a chance to play Ultimate Journey in my lifetime. It's an NES game that's never been dumped that I know of. And um, that'd be awesome. Everything's kind of closing shop here at Korg's. Everyone's tearing down. I love that guy. Sorry, Coming dude. to a close today. Got my friend uh, Gary ago. Carnucci. Dude, we all are. <laughs> we got this giant fan above us here. I'm about ready to get closer. And you're giant too, man. I, well, I, I had I had a full head of hair before this happened here. I just leaned up and got you close to the fan up there. This is your show. You've been doing this for what, like 15 years uh, now or something? 14 years. 14. Since, uh, okay. 2009 was our first show. Good lord. So it's our 14 year, but actually our 13th show because in 12 or 20, remember everyone had to cancel for COVID. Sure. So we 13th show, but 14 years doing it. So whatever you want to say. All right. 14 years. Shows. And how does this one compare to the others? Pretty cool? I, I, it was you good know, on my side. I think this is one of our best shows, really. Nice, dude. I think we get the best turnout. Um, I think it was for, from you guys. I never got YouTube. I always get other guys. Sure. Which everyone's great, but for some reason, right. even even people like that. The one guy couldn't make it today, um, Brett Wise, loves coming oh, to the show. Oh, yeah. He goes, he goes, you get those YouTube guys, they just blow us away. <laughs> we have both, because John Riggs, they all get those 100,000 yeah. followers. He goes, we can't compete with that. Yeah, you no, know? Brett's, a, Brett's a good guy. Brett was the one who recommended me, did, me Brett, to this show. Brett is awesome. I love all you guys, but uh, I guess YouTubers, I'm getting a younger crowd. Okay. And I think this is the youngest crowd we had, too. Oh, there you go. We all always right. get some you know, older people, 40, 50, or whatever, but I think oh. we got a lot of younger people. I'm 40 or 50, and, wait a minute. And I think you guys, <laughs> you and Jay and Steve, and, sure. and uh, this everyone else I'm forgetting about. Oh, no, it's all good. All you uh, YouTubers really yeah. helped us out a lot. You gotta lot. support your local shows, man. It's still yeah. like this is happening, everyone's tearing down, everyone's helping out tear down too. It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a beautiful it's a beautiful community we're all part of here. It is, it yeah. is. Look at this guy, look at this guy, we're awesome. Look how big he is. <laughs> I